going to talk about ad extensions. Ad extensions is a very important part of building your AdWords account. They do a lot for you. There's a lot of different types of extensions and each different type of ad extension has a different effect and it also has different settings and different configurations and different targeting parameters. Firstly, what are ad extensions? Ad extensions are additional pieces of content that are appended to the actual um, body of the ad, which is the headline and the uh, lines of description, and they um, come with a number of benefits, and they're a different types of ad extensions. So let's talk about uh, what some of the benefits of ad extensions are. First of all, ad extensions um, can provide the user shortcuts. For example, um, if we take a look at this example of an ad, over here we have our, our headline, we have um, our description, we have our display URL, um, and in this area down here we see what we call site link extensions. These are additional links that you could um, configure with, a with, they each have a headline, they each have two lines of description of ad text, and they could all go to separate pages of your website. So it's like, it's almost like creating a sub-menu of your ad. And site link extensions are by far the most important and most effective type of extension um, for some of the following reasons. So site link extensions in particular, they provide shortcuts. They allow the user to find the information they're looking for um, in the most specific way possible. So for example, let's say we're showing an ad and we're bidding on the keyword um, office chairs or quality office chairs for sale. Okay, so the keyword, someone goes to Google and they search for quality office chairs for sale. That person didn't express to us exactly what type of office chair they're looking for and usually people have preferences, people have a price range, people kind of know what they want. So if we were to just have a headline and we're sending them to the office chairs page on our pop-in website because that's the example that we've been using, we're not catering to the specific needs of that user in the best way possible. Site link extensions allow us to, to cater um, contextually to a person's needs in a more specific way and they, we give them a one-click option of potentially finding the exact type of answer to their question, in our case, the exact type of chair that they were looking for. So for example, we could have a site link extension. One headline talks about executive chairs. Okay, one talks about, let's say, leather chairs. Another site link could talk, could send, you know, users to the page on our website that talks about rolling chairs. And once again, um, we could have, let's say, clearance chairs or chairs at deep dis steep discounts. And each of these site links are going to have their own description so we could talk about the features and benefits of executive chairs, leather chairs, rolling chairs, clearance chairs, so on and so forth. So it, it gives the person who's searching for our ad um, the ability to find what they're looking for with one click um, in a more specific way. And you don't have to necessarily use site link extensions for subcategories of products. That's just one idea. You could use them for different sales you're running. You could use them for totally different categories. For example, you might even want to have a site link for uh, file cabinets. Why? Why would you want to have um, a site link for file cabinets if somebody searched for, desk ch for office chairs? Well, somebody might be looking for office chairs, but they also might be in the market for file cabinets. So they might see a file cabinet site link and they might go ahead and, and click on that and, and be able to check out um, our file cabinets. So that's uh, shortcuts. Similar, it minimizes work, okay? When you send somebody to the site and they're not on the page or they're not viewing the products or services or the information that they're looking for, they have to find the information um, either by digging further into your website, um, which is the ideal situation, or they're gonna leave your website and perform another Google search and find their information elsewhere, find the products and services elsewhere. Uh, so minimizing work for the user for our potential customer or our potential client is a really, really uh, positive thing. Ad extensions are very easily updatable, so you have easy updates. Um, if you have site link extensions, you can go into your AdWords dashboard, which we're going to do in the next video, and you could kind of um, change around the headlines, you could schedule them, we'll talk about scheduling in a second, um, you could change the descriptions without having to actually change the body, um, the headline and description URLs of your ad text. So for example, if you're running an A-B test on your headline and you're not ready uh, to change an ad or pause an ad or write a new ad, you just want to swap out your site links, you could do that without touching the click data and the conversion data, the impressions, cost per conversion, so on and so forth of the actual ad. 
Um, ad extensions also have really cool uh, reporting, which we'll take a look at in, the, in a later video. You could see um, how many clicks a site link has received. If you have a type of ad extension, for example, one of the types of ad extensions is a call-out extension. It's a line of text that allows you to highlight certain services um, and, and sales and specials. So it's just kind of like an extra line of text. Um, you could see which ads, you could, you could compare data like clicks, impressions, cost, average cost per click, conversions, converted clicks, cost per conversion, kind of comparing that data for ads that were displayed with an ad extension versus ads that were not displayed with that ad extension. So you could really get deep into the reporting to see how effective your ad extensions have been um, and you could optimize for ad extensions using those reporting. Most of the ad extensions have scheduling features. Oops, so you're able to um, schedule your ad extensions to start and end at certain times. So for example, if you're running a sale, that's a classic example. If you're running a sale or a certain promotion or you want to um, highlight an event over a specific amount of time, you could use a call out extension and schedule that extension to run only between certain dates. So that's a very, very helpful and useful feature. Ad extensions almost guarantee an increase in click-through rate and an increase in quality score. Ad extensions are actually a component of quality score like we saw in the previous video on quality score. Ad extensions are actually taken into account when your quality score is calculated and we know, and you know already, um, how important a good quality score is in determining your actual cost per click. Um, your click-through rate is going to increase drastically because we have two reasons. One is that it's more real estate. Your ad's going to be more visible to the human eye. A greater portion, this is a very simple concept, a greater portion of the screen of the search engine results page of the SERP is now going to be covered with your ad. The more space it takes up, the more ad extensions you have, uh, the more space your ad takes up, and the more likely somebody is to even see or focus on your ad. It's also more relevant. You're providing um, a lot more information to the user. So you could more, you'll, you'll, you'll be more likely to say something or to convey something in your ad text or in your site links or in your call out or in your reviews that are going to be very relevant and that are going to really appeal to your potential client and be able to bring in that click and bring in a good quality uh, visit to your site. So you're likely to see an increase in click through rate and an increase in quality score as well. Um, and we've seen in our accounts click through rates to go up 10, 15%, which is huge. It's, it's, it's gigantic increase in click through rate, like unbelievable, uh, just by using um, a variety of site links. Another cool feature is that you could use bulk updates. For example, if I have um, you know, 10 campaigns running a call out extension or 10 campaigns running um, uh, ad ex uh, site link extensions, I could update them in bulk so I don't have to go into every individual ad group and update those, um, update those site link extensions or whatever ad extension that I'm running. So let's talk about the different types of ad extensions that we have. We already covered a lot of site link, ex a lot about site link extensions, and, and there's a lot more detail that comes with these. We'll, we'll cover a little bit about, we'll cover some of that extra detail in the next video when we go in and, and create our own site link extensions inside the dashboard. You could create campaign level site links, ad group level site link extensions. Um, it's a very similar concept as you know, campaign level negative keywords and ad group le level negative keywords. Um, if you have a campaign level site link extensions, obviously those site link extensions will be eligible to run on all um, the ads in that campaign. If it's an ad group level site link extension, they'll, they will only be eligible to run on the ads within that ad group. So the more specific, um, you can get as specific as you want um, when it comes to creating those site link extensions. Obviously the same uh, concepts apply when you write your site link extensions as they do when you write your ad headline and ad text. You wanna be very clear you want to qualify the site link extensions if you're fearful of getting a bad click. You know, those concepts we talked about with price. You want to um, describe the emotional payoffs, the features, um, the, the benefits rather, these, those emotional payoffs which are the benefits of um, the product services information that you're highlighting in those site link extensions. Uh, and if you have room, you also want to add some of those benefits, uh, some of those features. I keep on, I'm sorry for mixing that up. Um, there's also a location ad extension, which if you look over here, 
this under underneath your um, description lines of text in your ad, you're going to see some of these other types of extensions above your setting extension. So one of those is a location extension where Google um, will link, you will have to set up your Google My Business account, you will link your Google My Business account to your Google AdWords account or you could import the location from a different Google account and Google will display a location, an address, an actual physical address underneath your ad. And obviously um, that's ideal for a local business, a brick and mortar store, um, stores that have retail locations, that's um, a really positive thing. Call extensions. Call extensions um, are another very, very powerful type of extension. When displayed on a desktop, your phone number, um, potentially set up with a Google forwarding number, is displayed in the actual uh, text of the ad. Sometimes it's appended to the headline, sometimes it's beneath. Um, they show up in different places and you don't necessarily have complete control of where the phone number shows up. Um, and what's really cool is on mobile devices, there's a little button uh, that says click to call. And if somebody clicks that button, click to call, you do get charged at a regular cost per click as if you had an ad click. Um, but if it's a smartphone, um, a little dialogue will pop up and it will ask the user if they, if they want their phone to dial your number. Um, so call extensions are very, very good. Um, if you're an industry that, that is a service industry, um, think about plumbers, um, think about gardeners, think about roofers, uh, think about uh, terminators, all those um, sorts of businesses that rely heavily on phone calls, locksmiths, uh, things like that. Uh, so call extensions could be are very, very powerful and very important uh, to drive business uh, to those um, sorts of companies. Review extensions allow you to add reviews that you've received for your products and services from third-party sites. Reviews extensions are a little tricky. You have to comply with a lot of different guidelines. Uh, for example, you have to quote, um, ex take an exact quote of, um, the, of, of the review. If it's not an exact quote, you have to specify that it's not an exact quote. Um, you have to quote the source of the review. Google's going to verify that. Um, and there's a bunch of different uh, guidelines that you have to adhere to, but you will um, as you see over here, you could actually import your reviews and Google will show um, some, of your, some of your reviews beneath the text of your ad. So review extensions are another very good thing to increase customer loyalty. It shows um, that you're a business that has an establishment, that has a following, um, and that's a very, very good thing. Call out extension um, is one of my favorite types of extensions. It's um, very flexible because you could create a call out extension at the account level, the campaign level, or the ad group level. And a call out extension, something like this, free shipping, 20% clearance sale, it allows you to highlight um, certain key aspects of your company. So if it's, if it's a sale, if it's um, a, a feature like, like free shipping, um, if it's something about the quality of your products, let's say it's made in the USA. So those are kind of broader global um, assets that your company offers that you want to highlight above and beyond the specific features and benefits of the ad itself. So keep that in mind, call out extensions are very pow powerful. They're not clickable, um, it's just a piece of text, but it really allows you to kind of give that extra push um, and take up a little bit more real estate on the screen as well. And call out extensions could be used in conjunction with site link extensions. So not only could you have your headline, your, your descriptions, your URL, and for site link extensions, you could also have a call out extension um, in addition to that. Um, that leads you, it should lead you to the next question of, um, can I use multiple extensions? And the answer is yes. You can, but not all extensions are going to be shown with each other. Google changes um, these policies uh, quite a bit actually, um, but oftentimes you'll see that review extensions won't necessarily be shown with call-out extensions, um, or call-out extensions won't be shown together with a location extension, um, but be that as it may, it's always good to have as many different types of extensions loaded into your campaigns and ad groups as you can. Uh, one more thing about call extensions that's worth keeping in mind. In order for your ad to be eligible to show with a call-out extension, you need to have at least two separate call-out extensions created um, for Google to be able to rotate them um, with a maximum of four. So Google recommends that you actually use all four call-out extensions, but you need to have at least two call-out extensions in your account campaign or ad group um, to for either one of them to be eligible to show. So that's something to remember. So you know call extensions needs two. Okay. Um, in terms of importance, 
site link extensions are definitely the most important ones to focus on. They take up by far the most real estate on the screen. They provide by far the most relevancy um, to the customer. They have that benefit of creating the shortcut and minimizes work and it really allows potential customers clicks good traffic to find more information in a more efficient and, and you know in a faster way. So really if you if you're gonna choose one ad extension to focus on, it should be site links in most cases. But if you're a plumber um, and you don't even have multiple pages on your website, you have a landing page, then a call extension is, is really gonna be uh, the way for you to go. So that leads me right here. So you wanna think about which ad extensions are going to work best for your business. That's really number one. Site link extensions in generally, um, gener for most businesses, generally they're the best, but they're not necessarily, not, they're not necessarily the best for you. Um, like we just explained, a call out extension might be the best for you. Review extensions might be the best for your company. Um, a location extension, if you're really wanting to drive foot traffic to your brick and mortar store, might be the best for your company. So you have to think about which um, ad extensions are good for you, but you definitely want to have ad extensions. Um, you might have heard of something called automatic ad extensions. And what we've discussed so far are what Google refers to as manual ad extensions, but there's also um, something called automatic ad extensions. If you don't have any of your ad extensions set up, you never went in and created a site link or a call out or a call extension or a review extension or an app review extension, Google has the ability or Google has taken the liberty to potentially add some automatic ad extensions. For example, those might be social shares. If your website or your app or where, whatever your advertising has gotten shares on Google Plus um, or has gotten reviews, Google might throw that in um, beneath the text of your ad. Another uh, very common call-out extension is if the person searching has been to your website previously, um, there might be a little bit of a line of text that says, um, last visited uh, seven days ago, or you visited the site three times. Um, so those are automatic ad extensions that Google puts into your ad because Google saw that these ad extensions tend to increase click-through rate. Uh, they tend to um, increase engagement time on the site and Google's in the business of getting clicks. Google's in the business of uh, getting you to be a successful advertiser. So the, what, whatever they could do uh, to help, um, they're kind of gonna um, give that little push. So they said, you know, if you're not gonna put those ad extensions in yourself, um, we're gonna go ahead and do that. And there's also such a thing as dynamic site link extensions where Google will automatically populate site link extensions for you based on the different pages of your website and based on um, what the user is searching for. I really recommend that you stay away from that. It's much better to take control yourself. It's much better to think you know, in a thoughtful way about your consumers, uh, about the people coming to your site, um, and, and take the time, take the 10, 15 minutes it's gonna take to set up really good site link extensions for all of your campaigns. So that's um, a little bit on automatic extensions. There's, there, there are more sorts of automatic, automatic extensions and there are other manual ad extensions as well. For the purpose of this course, it doesn't make sense to get it into detail in every one. And in the next video, when we go in and actually set up ad extensions, we're really gonna only focus on site link extensions because most of you um, are going to want to really focus on site link extensions as well. And on top of that, the method of adding all these other extensions are really essentially the same. Each one has different settings. Each one has a few different different you know, configuration options, um, but you know, Technically, how to go in there and set it up is very, very similar across all the different ad extensions. So last, last but not least, like we said, the more you use, the better. Um, take the time. Um, you know, you're dedicated to these campaigns. You want these AdWords campaigns to be successful. Um, it's very possible that your AdWords campaigns are going to be the, the most important uh, advertising initiative your business has. So take the time to do it right. Take the time to create good ad extensions. Um, think about what's right for your business. What kind of business are you? What type of traffic are you trying to get? Um, what type of ad extensions do I want to uh, plug? And just think about that concept of additional real estate on the screen. Think about the concepts of relevancy, the increased quality score, and um, ultimately your ads are going to see a major boost in click-through rate um, by using these ad extensions thoughtfully. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. Um, I'll see you in a few minutes right over at the computer. Howdy.